It's that time again, where we ignore everything that's going on in the present and look towards the future. This time around, we have the sixth and final color being introduced into Battle Spirit Saga blue. And with a new color comes a new starter deck. Yesterday, Bandai just decided to reveal all of the cards at once from the blue starter deck. So let's go through them all. So with the introduction of blue comes some new keywords that are going to be unique to blue. The first one being crush. With Crush, whenever the spirit attacks, you discard a number of cards from the top of your opponent's deck equal to the total of this spirit's level, and then add any specified modifier. So, in the case of the X-Rare Conquest myo -O Nirvana, it has Crush plus 2. If it attacks at level 1, then it'll discard a total of 3 cards, 1 for being level 1, and then and the plus two modifier. If it's at level three, it'll discard a total of five cards. The second keyword, which is also on Nirvana, is Raid. When it attacks, up to the specified number of times per turn, in the case of Nirvana, one, you may exhaust one of your nexuses to refresh this spirit. So of course this keyword goes great alongside Crush, where you can just mill them again on the same turn, potentially milling up to 10 cards if at the highest level. Because these two keywords go great together, we got basically a mini Nirvana in Island Bearer Francis, which has Crush plus one, and at level two, if the opponent has 10 or more cards in their trash, the spirit gains raid one. And we have a couple of other blue spirits that have Crush. Assuming we have an opponent that has 50 cards in their deck exactly, you probably will need to mill somewhere between 35 to 40 cards. So can we get to that win condition fast enough? With these cards alone, Probably not. Of course, we have other cards to enable this mill win condition. For example, we have Ancient Colosseum with the level 2 effect. When your opponent summons a spirit with a win summoned effect, discard the top 4 cards of their deck. This effect sounds pretty good. But if we've learned anything over the course of these last two sets, people are going to, and already are, building their decks in such a way where they don't trigger these cards that trigger on wind summit effects, like Star Bless Draw. And plus, Ancient Colosseum needs three cores on it in order to get this effect, which seems a little expensive, so it's probably not good enough. The other nexus in the starter deck is Honorable Duel. Its first effect, during your attack step, when one of your spirits with a soul core on it destroys one of your opponent's spirits in battle, discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. And the second effect at level 2, at the start of your end step, select one of your golem or war god spirits and refresh it. This is definitely the more consistent nexus to go with if you're wanting to mill your opponent. And then we have this interesting magic card, Blitz. Its burst uh, triggers on when your opponent destroys your spirit. Discard the top 5 cards of your opponent's deck. Obviously, you would play this in a dedicated mill deck, and it's going to be good because some of the smaller crush guys are going to die. And then to go alongside our crush spirits, we also have Battle Beast Bull Top Dog, a 2 cost 1 reduction war beast. During your attack step, when a spirit card is discarded by your crush effect, select one of your spirits, place a core from the void onto it. I wish it triggered when any card is discarded through Crush, not just Spirit cards. That being said, if you're milling, like, four cards per attack, it's probably going to ramp you a core every attack. It helps that this card is cheap enough, so it might see play in a mill deck. Another theme that you will see across blue are cards that interact with nexuses. Fort Golem is a good example of this. It's a 6 cost 2 reduction, but it costs 4 in your hand if you control a nexus. And at level 2 when it attacks, 
you may exhaust one of your nexuses to select one of your opponent's spirits that costs three or less and destroy it. I actually like this card. Unfortunately, the level two requires four cores, which is a little too expensive for you to play this effectively in the early game, even if you get its cost of four. Still, very interesting card. And then you have Bronze Golem, three cost one reduction, when destroyed, select one of your nexuses and place a core from the void onto it. Unfortunately, a certain ant is probably going to be better for ramping cores than this. One of the cards that I'm really excited about from the starter deck is Rammer Golem, a two cost one reduction spirit with the effect on either attack step when one of your blue nexuses is exhausted, select one of your opponent's spirits that costs four or less and destroy it. Now that is an interesting effect. Being able to destroy four costs is a nice threshold to see on a card. I wish this card worked with any nexuses, not just blue. But no, it can't be that good. Still, very cool card. Depending on what else we get in the main set, Aquatic Invaders, I can see Rammer Golem being one of the early game staple cards in blue. We also have Blessed Cores, a 4 cost 2 reduction magic with the main effect, select 2 of your nexuses, place a core from the void onto each of them. This card is probably not good enough. Again, if you're wanting to ramp cores in blue, you'd probably just use Worker Ant-Man. But the last magic card in this starter deck is probably the best card in the deck, Floodstream. Five costs, two reduction. Burst effect when you lose life, select a spirit. During this turn, treat it as its highest level. That effect is whatever. It's the main and flash effect where it's at. Select any number of your opponent's spirits with a combined total of five or less cost and destroy them. For starters, this card is basically just a board wipe against aggro decks. But more than that, this card is just good. If you're going up against someone who likes to play those zero cost spirits, this will just get rid of those for free on top of whatever else you're going to destroy. I really like this card. It's probably going to see play in a variety of main decks and side decks. I would put it on the power level of something like Burning Force. It's basically that good. And then of course we have a few vanillas in our starter deck, which is whatever. None of them are notable. From just these starter deck cards alone, I am cautiously optimistic for blue. I don't think there's enough here yet for a mill deck to be competitively viable, but judging from what we've seen already in Aquatic Invaders, there's some potential. Again, cautiously optimistic. But even outside of a mill strategy, we're already getting some really good general good stuff for blue. Of course, time will tell if we actually get more good stuff so that blue can actually make more of a splash rather than what happened with green, where it just kind of is there. If you liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more Battle Spirit Saga content. Until next time, laters.